Recently, I got this Raspberry Pi 5 kit. I figured since I had this NES looking case, let's go ahead and put RetroPie on it. As I said in the intro, I got this little NES kind of looking case for the Raspberry Pi 5, and I wanted to see about putting RetroPie on it. And I'm gonna make this a series of videos. So this first video that you're watching right now, I'm just gonna show you how to install RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi 5. Future videos, I'll show you how to do some stuff when it comes to installing retro achievements, retro arch, you know, doing some, maybe installing some cheats, etc., and then copying ROMs over. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the video. The first thing we need to do here is we need to download the Raspberry Pi Imager. So if you head over to raspberrypi.com slash software, you'll see the option here to download the Raspberry Pi Imager. Download it for whatever operating system. For me, it's Windows. Once we do that, go ahead and install it, and then we'll open it and I'll show you the rest. Now that we have the Raspberry Pi Imager installed, the next thing we want to do is make sure we have a good micro SD card, preferably blank. If it's not blank, make sure you back up anything off of it because the process we're going to run here is going to wipe it clean. So you've been warned, make sure it's backed up. The first thing we want to do is choose our device on the left side here. So we'll choose device. And for my example, I've got a Raspberry Pi 5, but you'll choose whatever you have there. Now that we have Raspberry Pi 5 selected, we'll go into choose OS. And if you go down to emulation and game OS, we click this. We see we don't have an option here for RetroPie. And that is because there's not an official release for RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi 5. If we go back and let's say we choose, we'll get rid of our filtering for our devices. Now we choose OS. And if we go down to emulation and game OS, you can see we have RetroPie and we only have it up to the Raspberry Pi 4. So if you have anything pre five, that's what you're going to do. You're going to do one of those options there. But since we're doing a Raspberry Pi five for this option or this video, we're going to go back and we'll go ahead and choose our Raspberry Pi five. And you don't have to do that here, but I'm going to do it. We'll choose OS. And what we want to do is we want to install Raspberry Pi OS. And I'm going to do the 64 bit version here. Now, if you're watching this video in the future, there might be an option in emulation and game OSs for RetroPie, but at the time of this, February 2025, there isn't an option for that. So let's go ahead and choose Raspberry Pi OS. We'll choose our storage, and this is where we are going to choose that micro SD card. And make sure you're choosing the correct one because you don't want to overwrite a different drive that you don't mean to. So for mine, I'm going to do this 120. Um, eight gig drive there. If you're looking for an SD card reader or a micro SD card reader, uh, that's USB-C. I'll put a link in the description below to the one I use. It's from Sabrent. Uh, it's really reliable and it works really great when it comes to using Raspberry Pi launcher to, you know, write the OS to our micro SD cards. We'll go next. And then do you want to do any OS customizations? I'm going to do no for right now. And then any stuff on that will be erased. It just wants to make sure you know that. We'll do yes. And now it's going to write the Raspberry Pi OS to our SD card. Now we can see that the Raspberry Pi OS has been written to our card. We're going to go ahead and click continue. Go ahead and pop the card out and we'll put it in the Raspberry Pi 5 and boot it up. We got the SD card installed. We're booting up our Raspberry Pi 5 into Raspberry Pi OS. I've got also plugged into my network, so we'll get an IP address hopefully as we um, get to booting. And we're booted into our Raspberry Pi OS. We have a network address because I plugged in the, uh, the port here. So what we'll do is we'll go next and then choose your country, time zone, language. Here we need to put in a username and password. That is kind of just for we can also access some of the admin, you know, root stuff in the background. So go ahead and enter in whatever username and password you want here and uh, click next. I'm just going to leave it default and go next. Now that we're all booted into Raspberry Pi OS, what we want to do is open up the terminal. You can see at the top of the screen, there's a little terminal icon. I went ahead and blew up the text a little bit for you so you can see, but the first thing we want to do is 
we want to do some updates just to make sure the OS is completely updated. So obviously you need to be connected to the internet. So we'll do sudo apt update. And it's going to connect and do some downloads. And then we want to do sudo apt upgrade dash y. There. Simple as that. Now we'll go ahead. I'm going to clear this. And now we want to make sure Git is installed because that's how we're going to install RetroPie. So we'll do sudo apt install git. And for me, it was already installed, but that was just to make sure everything was good to go and it was there. This next part, we will clone the RetroPie repository to this computer using Git. Don't worry about typing all this in. I'll put a link in the description of where you can get all of these commands on my documentation site. Now that the repository has been cloned, the next thing we want to do is make it bootable. So we want to go into that directory. So let's make sure it's there. And you see we have the RetroPie setup directory. So we'll CD. And we want to make the .sh file, or the RetroPie setup file, bootable. So let's see what we have that in there. And you see we have the RetroPie setup. So the first thing we want to do is we want to do mod plus X and then we're going to use setup dot sh and then now we'll do sudo gonna go ahead and do our little background at work make sure it's gonna be bootable And here we go. So we are now launched into the RetroPie setup. We can go ahead and start going through this. You'll probably get an issue or it might say a warning about this is not supported with your version of the of Raspberry Pi. That's fine. You can go ahead and do it. Um, here we go. 64 bit is not um, supported. We'll do okay. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and install. Are you sure you want to install? Yes, I'm sure. And this part could take a while. You can see we're finally installed. It took quite a while and it probably take you right back here. What we want to do is we want to run that script again because there's a couple other things we want to do when it comes to configuring. So I'm just gonna do an up arrow and we're gonna do sudo retropy. I should launch that again. And what we're gonna do is we want to go down to configuration and the first thing we want to do is auto start. We want to make sure this auto starts whenever we start the computer. And then there you go. Start emulation at boot. That's what we want. Set the launch and then we'll go back. And then we want to do the bash welcome tweak. And this is just going to show us additional info um, when it boots in case we need to look at the terminal. So we'll go ahead and install bash welcome tweak. Okay. And then now we can exit out of here and we'll go ahead and exit. And now it's time to reboot. So we're going to do sudo reboot. Now our system is rebooting and then here we go. It goes right into retro pie emulation station. And that's what we did earlier by telling it to um, auto start emulation station when the machine starts. And there you go. That's how you install RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi 5. Stay tuned for my future videos in this series where I'm going to talk about installing and configuring Retro Achievement, Retro Arch, and then also how we copy over some ROMs and get some stuff configured. Once again, I'll put in the description below of where you can buy any of the stuff that I used in this video. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep doing good.